At the factory, the maximum length of bar produced at the factory is usually 12 meters. But sometimes in the site, we encounter some situation where the, the, length, the length of beam that we are about to reinforce is more than 12 meters. How do we handle such circumstance? Hi, welcome to Construction Point. I am Ushibe and today we shall be discussing how to reinforce and lap beams that are more than 12 meters up. Thank you. example this beam right here is 70, uh, 70 meter span beam how do we reinforce this beam to make sure that it is safe and suitable the first thing we are going to do is we are going to determine point of low moment or point of zero moment of course we know that a point of our point of less moment always occur at L over 8 where L is the total span of the beam then if we know our point of low moment we should be able to lap at such zone or that zone for example this beam here because if we place our full bar from the beginning here it will not end at the other column there so what we are going to do is we're going to introduce some bars that will originate from the beginning here to a point to some point here then while some we originate from the end to the point there that's to the other end so for example now some bars originated from the be very beginning of this column here so those bars originate from that begin beginning of that column look at them the end here you can see these bars here look at these bars here look at where the end these bars actually originated from the beginning of the column now some of the bars as well originate from the column here which is intersected or which is lapped at this point so there are ones that will come from this end lapped here while there are ones that will come from the other end lapped there and ones that come from this end lapped there so generally if we have such circumstances like this we lap in zigzag in zigzag direction to make sure that it is safe and sound so in case you need more explanation, of course, let's go to the office for more detail and more better explanation. Thank you. Welcome. First thing, we know that the length of our full bar is 12 meters. Sometimes at site, we are confronted with a beam that's more than 12 meters, that's up to 14, 15, 18, 20 meters, and so on. How do we reinforce such unconventional beam? So I'll be showing us how to reinforce such beams, we'll be starting with the reinforcing of 15 meter beams. I'm going to draw the beam, then I'll draw the bending moment diagram to show us from the bending moment diagram, point of low moment or where it is advisable to lap. Then after which we we'll draw more of unconventional beams and reinforces so we'll know how to reinforce such beam. Let's go on. We know that, um, our ray bar, the length of our ray bar is um, the length of our ray bar is 12 meters. We know that the length of our ray bar is 12 meters. So I'm going to be drawing a beam of 15 meters right now. I'm going to draw a beam of 15 meters now. So we have a beam. We have this beam. So let's say from here to here, from here to here, it's 15 meters. So the bending moment diagram will look like this, look like, like this. Now something of this nature. 
so this is the bending moment diagram so how do we reinforce this beam right now how do we reinforce this beam right now so since this is 15 meters our our rebar cannot go from here to here so the first thing we do is we reinforce from here so we have this to end somewhere here it can't reach here because from here to here maybe the 12 meters may have ended so under one we originate from here and lap so there's a lap in here so the next one is under one we originate from here full length we originate from here move we stop somewhere here then another one short one we need from here and move towards this way and lap here so this is the first way we can reinforce this beam to achieve what we want safely so the next one i'm going to draw now i'm going to draw a beam of 18 meters and reinforce it so this is the way we are going to do it i'm not going to draw the bending moment diagram of this one since we already know that the bending moment will look similar so we are going to have 18 meters beam 18 meters beam look like this 18 meters beam will look like this so the first thing i will do is my first reinforcement will originate from here move and stop somewhere here to stop somewhere close then i will take off another one from here move it to lap here whichever way it is the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to place a full length of bar to start from somewhere here and stop somewhere here the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to place another one that will start from here full length Start from here, move, stop somewhere here. Then I'll take a short length from here and move and stop somewhere here. Then the next thing I will do now is I will take a full length again. Then I'll move across. So this point now, here is lapped here. This one is lapped here. This is full length. This one is full length. So with this, there is no point of weakness. The point of weakness will be countered. It is completely reinforced in a zigzag direction. So this is our 18 meter beam, 18 meters. So this way, this is the way you are going to reinforce other ones. So with this, there is no point of weakness and your beam is safe and sound. So I believe that with this, we'll be able to reinforce any given beam at sight. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned.